seconds coming of through. no fun. The fun police is coming through, and that's going to be formal, folks. Uh, it, you know, from just watching Luminosity play through the group stages of champs, it just seems like they finally found their flow, and uh, they've just been getting the job done. And we'll see if they can get off to a hot start in map number one. And this is going to be a great map for John as well. A lot of close quarter engagements, so he can just kind of run around with that PPSH and do John-like things. But if Luminosity can set the tempo of this matchup early on, they can probably pull away with it. But folks, it's Luminosity versus Team Elevate, map number one. Let in Doc's hard point. We're going to kick this one off with the one and only. It's John, but he's going to fall quickly to Mox. And now Mox is going to get another kill as well. But Formal sitting back train. So far, Elevate does have control over the hill. Oh, and that was the fun police himself. Was Formal starting off the game. Two kills, zero deaths. LG, another thing that's scary about them that I'm sure you're about to see in a display in the next 10 minutes is their assist potential. These guys work so well together. That team shot is just crazy. Matched, at least at one point, only by the likes of like Rise Nation. Yep, you will get our kill feed back in a second as well. And now we're going to see Proto pick up one, and there it goes. And so that's going to be three kills in a row for Luminosity. And they're going to start pushing up and putting some pressure on Elevate. Not going to allow him to get to the statue for free. John's going to get that one. And he's probably going to end up getting the, uh, the right to flank around. Slack's going to get the call out that two players are going to flood through cold. JCAT with the bar, not able to, to connect on Major Maniac. He's going to fall. Now Formal is going to back up. His teammates did not spawn that close to him. But Formal gets one. He's trying to get two. Can't. Oh, oh. he does. Get, oh, he gets some help from John. So John comes in to save the day. It gives him some help, and he finds the double. So Luminosity gets control of that main tree. See, Formal was just peppering them a little bit, you know, lightening them up a little bit so John can come through and get that season stake. Dropping all three of them off of the hard point. Formal, though, and the rest of Luminosity game, he seems to have lost a little bit of control over here. JCAP, still alive, is a huge factor in forcing these team elevate spawns way out towards Subway. So not all hope is lost in the last 30 seconds here. You're going to see both teams trade off double kills. And uh, it's going to be Slack just waiting. His teammates are going to spawn all the way out, and he's going to get that call out. So he's going to try to play his life. The rest of uh, Luminosity is just going to rotate towards that dark, that, that, uh, that dark star point. Slack pick up the rest of that scrap time. And Major Maniac, that's going to be a big engagement against Formal. No other players from Luminosity is going to be in the area besides J Cappy. He's going to win that one as well. So Elevate is going to be able to get in on this Doc's hard point and get set up as well. Luminosity does have the opportunity of a pinch coming in. You see two players up top on the mini map, one on middle, which is Slack, one down bottom, which is J Cap. They're going to be all coalescing on one point here. Every different doorway of Team Elevate. Let's see how easy it is for them to break. The subs get their first wave engagements. J Cap and John, lighten up your kill feed, clearing it right out. Okay, JJ. Now, JCap looking to get another one. He's going to finally fall. But Luminosity, still 35 points left on his Dox Hill. They're going to be having to lock down. That nade will catch John, but still Luminosity racking up the points. Two kills, one of favorite both teams. Now, Luminosity, you're going to see two kitchen your mini map. It's going to be Elevate. They're going to get these back zero spines as well. John can't win that engagement, but Elevate's going to be set up. But it's still 15 points uh, left in his Doc's hard point. So this is going to allow Luminosity to spawn up and get in positions to uh, attack this barrel building in a unison. So looking through the eyes of former world champion, well, John, but also J-Cap. This man is just a COD Champs Grand Final veteran. <laughs> Definitely really one of the, one of really the many is. people in this tournament you absolutely want in your set of four. Mm -hmm. Trying to break into this Elevate defense that's being held pretty well. Proto finding himself a double kill with the help of Spacely in the hill. Mox in the back with the bar. It's exactly where you want him to be. And all these guys at one point or another throughout the year released from their teams. You know, this kind of ragtag group surrounded by Spacely. It's awesome to see this story once again happen with Spacely. You know, we saw it before with Team Justice. We saw him do it with Bittersweet, which then became Ghost Gaming. Yep. And now, here they are in the nationwide arena playing up against the pro league team. You gotta, you, you know, if you know Spacey, you, you gotta love his story, you guys. And now Mox, he's gonna get one. Space. he's gonna get that flank through mid map to take care of John as well. We've got about 13 points left on Barrel Building. The scrap time may go towards Elevate, but the rotation should be in their favor as well. Formal's gonna be the last one standing. He's gonna fall. So now Luminosity will spawn so far away from this Crane Hill. Elevate knows it, so they should be able to get some time before Luminosity can get a position. But they're going to have to make sure that they watch that Ooh. dark side. And Major Maniac just beaming. He picks up two. He knows that. Oh, but speaking of beaming, there goes Formal over there by the Doc's warehouse. He's able to find one. 
as well. But Proto just staying in this position. He's just being annoying. And that's going to be another wipe on the side of Luminosity. Elevate picking up a good chunk of time. And they're going to pull away with pull away with this lead. Yeah, a whole lot of respect for Maniac and Proto right there. Proto holding it down on Docs. Maniac stopped by none other than Formal in that great position on the middle map. He was setting up for those score streaks. But the communication from Luminosity gave me. They kept track of that. They understand when a player has the hot hand. They need to highlight them and prioritize and hunt them down. As you can see, a couple more kills go in favor of Elevate. This Doc's Crane Hill was all theirs. Take a look at that 10-second lead. Yeah, you know, it, it really is. Uh, Luminosity, I don't think they were able to even get close to the hill to get a touch. Now Luminosity is going to focus on Statue, but that's going to be another double kill in favor of Elevate, making another triple. And they are just slaying Luminosity out. They need, to, we'll see if they can get a good chunk of time off the Statue. Though. Luminosity is going to be spawning back barrels. J-Cap wins that engagement on Doc's side, but he's going to get shot down by Space Lee. And there you go, three more wow. kills for Elevate. Proto, I think, just dove off and killed himself there. Formal getting quite a bit of damage to the wall there for him. But let's take a look at the players closer to the action in the hill. Spacely acting as a buffer, setting up for his own score streak. He's supposed to be directly protecting Maniac, Ooh, who's sitting nice. in the hill on a six streak at the moment. So Elevate, the momentum is heavily in their favor. These guys have been holding it down around Statue, and Luminosity has just been on their back foot. When was the last time they left this side of the map, Blaze? It's, it's, it's been definitely a while. And this is a good statement to come out and make, especially on one of Luminosity's better maps. But Major Maniac is still on a six spree. He's going to be close to streaks. That's going to be crucial towards his late game. It'd be nice if we can uh, watch him spacely picking up a big double. And Major Maniac, he's not going to have an engagement just yet, but he's going to put himself in a power position. You see, 50 points away from that glide bomb. And he has a lot of angles in his area. He's going to be able to catch Slack off guard. So just one kill away from getting fully streaked out, and that's going to be influential towards the back end of this map. So the, the main concern that Elevate should have at the moment is that we saw uh, Mox way on the opposite side of the map behind, uh, behind Barrels, and then we also saw Maniac sitting in the subway. So that gave Luminosity Gaming those lower dock spawns, and that's why you see them coming through. Upsetting the spawns, pushing Elevate out. This is just going to get easier and easier as they take down Spacely. Outnumber this hill times going to LG. That's what happens, you know, focus on those spawns. They did get the streak stuff. So maybe they were playing the long game. Yeah, maybe they were. But you will see Major Maniac, uh, you know, with that one glide bomb, Mox is going to try to hold off LG with just 14 points left in this one. Elevate has a nice lead. They're just going to move on over, set up towards the dock side, control back train car as well. And Spacely, he's going to just be roaming around fi uh, fire, just trying to be annoying. You're going to see Luminosity is going to find him. So the, the hard point is going to be in docks now. See J-Cat pushing through mid-map, but he's going to fall to Mox. So we're, we're seeing another pinch set up. John on the opposite side, taken down by Mox. Excellent double kill. Now he's able to invest his attention towards middle map. He's stopped by J-Cap, though, with a very well-placed nade, and we're seeing another pinch come in. Slack on one side, J-Cap on the other, supported by Formal. The pinch is successful, and LG has forced Elevate out. I just want to say, you take a look at Elevate. You got, you had plus one, plus six. You got plus eight. You got plus seven. They are just completely out slaying Luminosity at the top. Negative ten. You got negative nine. You're gonna have a uh, negative seven as well. Luminosity is gonna have to pick it up in the slaying department. Formal, the only one positive, trying to get the job done, but he's gonna need a little help, Fox. Yeah, for sure. It's slacked. What are you doing, bro? And minus 10, minus 11 at but the moment in the middle of a hard point. But the one positive thing to take away if you're a Luminosity fan is just that this team is a team full of veterans. And Elevate, they don't have a huge lead that's impossible for Luminosity to come back on. Luminosity just has to flip the switch one good time, get one good hold, and if they can get that momentum, regardless of what the score line is, a win is a win. Oh, absolutely. LG's still keeping it close. It's a bad score line in the KD column, not just the scoreboard, but it's still a manageable deficit. All right, now formal. Got to try to push up these train stairs. He's going to get some good shots in on Spacely. And Proto is going to finish off J-Cap, so Elevate getting a lot of time, and now they're striking distance to end this map. Luminosity is going to have to be the aggressors. It's going to be difficult to move Elevate out of this power position, but John's trying, and he's going to fall down. J-Caps is going to give it a go, but he's going to fall to Proto. So Team Elevate looking to end this one and take map number one, but they cannot win off this hill. This next rotation will move towards Crane, where Luminosity is just going to have to be flawless. Wow, Elevate really put on the gas right now. Spacely, this man's been creating space for his team all day long with this sub pressure. Take a look at Proto as well. 30 and 20, the subs are taking over on London Docks. 
Mox, it almost seems like he hasn't had to do a whole lot. There have been a couple clutch moments where he's been in a great position yeah. to watch the back cut, but just the amount of space that they're creating here is awesome to see. So Mox has had a lot of key double kills in this matchup. And Elevate, they're just going to group up and try to take this one slow, try to break this one together. But Luminosity doing exactly what Elevate did to them on his previous Crane Hill. Elevate cannot even get close to it. J-Cap in a power position. He's going to lose his gunfight, and this could be it. The Elevate looking to break in and get the kills in which needed. They're getting the time, and now it's all going to be up to number two. It's going to be formal. He takes out a double, but he finally falls and just five points needed for Elevate to win map number one. And nobody from Luminosity is going to be able to do anything. Team Elevate takes the first hard point. Wow. Real shocker of a hard point win right there. I mean, you take a look at Luminosity Gaming and the stacked lineup over there, their experience. Some of the best hard point players we've seen in the past few years. And they end up dropping it to Elevate. Of course, Elevate just has less news yeah. surrounding them other than this week, of course. Man, you know, you see that old duo working together, uh, Mox and Spacely from their Ghost Gaming days. And uh, they put in a lot of work doing that map, but you got to show some love to Major Maniac because especially early on, he was just streaking out and he put, uh, brought a lot of momentum to that team to kind of close out that map. But uh, still early on, but Elevate, they get off to a good start and get, get a good cushion as well. And that's something that you need playing against uh, a talented Luminosity roster such as this. Oh, yeah. Maniac was a Mainer Maniac. Maniac throughout that map. I mean, he seriously just opened things up. And actually, he shut things down. Middle map was closed. Yeah, when it he really was. There. It was closed, and you see 250 to 176. Now we're going to be moving over to USS Texas next. Now, Fox, do you know who's going to be the main snipers for both these teams? Do we know if it's, if it's any search and destroy map where the sniper has such a huge impact? It's going to be this one. I have not gotten to see enough of Elevate yet this weekend to know who's going to be pulling out the sniper on USS Texas. Uh, this is a search and destroy map that we see less more recent, or recently yeah. compared to other maps, so it really is a tough call. But we um, know for Luminosity. It's going to be John, most likely. And we'll see what he can do with that one. But Luminosity, they're going to have to get it together, get it completely outslayed by Elevate in that map number one. They're going to have to get back into their groove. And as you see, look at the crowd out there. What's up, guys? Make some noise. Where's the Luminosity fans out there? Where's the Elevate fans? I see a lot of red. Got a formal fan sitting front and center, trying to make sure he's able to support his squad. There you go. Don't forget to be making noise all weekend. We'll be doing giveaways all weekend long as well. So that's going to be awesome. What you see on your screen, you got Mox there, you got Proto, Major Maniac on the end, Spacely in the middle as well. This team, you know, a lot of people didn't see them making it here. You know, they were in a tough group with Optic Gaming, EG, and Supremacy as well. Yeah, it seemed like it could have been a... Uh uh, a tough, yeah, tough working out group for them. Uh, their 3 0 against Supremacy ended up what was being the final nail in the it coffin really, for Optic really Gaming to, to lead the tournament. It really was. And, uh, you know, y you see it there. You know, Luminosity, just the, the faces, the looks on the faces, they're like, all right, it's time to get serious. Uh, and they're going to have to do it on this next map because they're in the hole currently. And take a look at our bracket and how it's stacked up. And uh, you're going to see some winners. Lightning Panda, Evil Genius is winning their match. That's going to be a good one. Team Envious versus Ghost Gaming. E United versus Unilad. And now we're starting to see with these last few matches who's going to progress on uh, to those quarterfinals. And based off this bracket right now, is it anything surprising to you or is it matching up just how you thought so? Uh, I mean, the e United and Red Reserve series, just seeing that being a 3 0, and I was able to watch some of it. Like, e United just blowing them out of the water. It was crazy. The twins were firing on all cylinders. Now we're going to have two sets of twins facing off. Well, one twin on Unilad, <laughs> and then a set of twins on yeah. e United, I should say. But it's going to be cool to see them match up. I just didn't expect to see it end that way. It was yeah, real swift. Also, at the same time, FaZe Clan uh, getting reverse swept there by Team Envious. They came out on top. I think that's the one match I'm most excited for. Uh, if not today, definitely tomorrow is going to be the Team Envious versus Ghost Gaming one. That's just like fun all the way around. You know, I'm a little hurt that uh, E United deprived us of the Unilad and Red Reserve matchup. I gotta <laughs> that's say, that's, true. that's just genuinely inconsiderate from them to come here and do well. We'll get it one day. You know, Red Reserve, if it's one thing about that team, they are no strangers to loser bracket runs. Uh, you know, it, it's usually when they hit their final form. And uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be no different in the last event of the season. It's where, uh, you know, everything is going to be on the line. You know, those guys just kind of getting off to that slow start. But focusing up on this one, we're about to go into USS Texas and see if Luminosity can even the series one-to-one -one 
or if Elevate will get a commanding lead in this one. Definitely not going to be easy against this Elevate team. But Luminosity, they got so much talent on that roster. Also, you know, I'm pretty sure it's a lot of fans trying to see if Formal can go back to back Kai champs. We'll see. Yeah, and I mean... Also, also if JCAP can get his third ring as well, you know? A lot of storylines on this Luminosity roster. Oh, for sure. And I mean, for Formal, I'm sure that he's loving being here right now. It's, it was so crazy to not see the Luminosity logo at Stage 2 playoffs. Like, when was yeah. the last time we haven't seen Formal qualify for something? And even, and cra even crazier not to see Optic Gaming's now, you know? Oh, uh, but, you know, it's just, it, it, it just shows it's been a crazy <laughs> season overall. And now on board with Major Maniac, we'll see if he can get first blood. He's going to lock eyes with John. Oh, they're not going to see him. He sees him now. We'll see if he can get him. He is going to connect with that shot. Get him first blood. All right, now he's waiting for this next kill to come out as well. 4v3 situation. Man advantage in favor of Elevate. Spacely creeping up through the middle of the map. I don't think they've heard him here yet, but there has to be a decent watch on it. There is one Luminosity player hanging off in the back. Can't quite tell who that is. I think it might be Formal. There it Ooh, is. Oh, it is Formal. Maniac. Major Maniac has his number, though. Sniper versus Sniper. He catches him just after a kill. Big trade right there. 3v2 as well. And with that bomb down, the clock is ticking. And Slack, he's going to find that kill on Spacely. So 2v2 situation. Major Maniac has found two snipes so far. He's been looking to get these mocks. Can he get the last shot he needs? Yes, he does. He takes down J-Cap, but Slack with the nade across map. It's going to come down. Mox versus Slack. Can they do it? 1v1 situation. The bomb's going down. Mox recognizes the situation. He's going to play up, and he's going to see Slack down there, and he's going to be able to get that kill and secure round number one in favor of Team Elevate. Yeah, you know, it's, it's real unfortunate. Slack just had to commit to the bomb right there. He, yeah. had, he had already used his Semtex to kill someone else that was sitting right next to, uh, to Mox right there. So it, it was either, you know, play this 50-50, and not even a 50-50. If he's in that position, the odds are obviously stacked in favor of him. So he had to stick the bomb if he was going to do anything that round. All right, let's see. Luminosity off to a slow start in their first match of the day. Formal is actually going to have the snipe in hand. John's going to have one as well. So double snipe set up for Luminosity. They are going to be on the attacking side as well. John, looking to see if anyone's home. I'll back going for a flank on top mid. No action so far. JCap also looking for the flank. Just a very... All right. John can't connect with any of those shots. Spacely is going to take down John. So, man advantage in favor of Elevate. Formal's going to start to reposition himself. He's going to group up with JCap as well. Looking like Luminosity wants to prioritize that B-bomb side. But as I say, JCap is going to start wrapping around towards that A side as well. But Proto's going to find another kill. Luminosity, 1v4 situation. 37 seconds left on the clock as well. Oh, man. We're still really early on in the search and destroy. But Luminosity just does not look comfortable at all. I mean. Maybe once, maybe those gills will start turning once they start figuring out what Elevate is doing. We're still very early on into it. The first offensive and defensive round, but they just look flustered. They get picked apart with no trades, and it's just, it's kind of sloppy. Elevate. It is. They're looking comfortable. Elevate. Uh, if they got up to the series too old, that's going to be huge. But Luminosity, they just need to find their groove, and I'm pretty sure when they find that, they'll be a okay because they was playing phenomenal yesterday. So we're going to be kicking this one off with Spacely. He's currently on a three streak as well. So you definitely know he's going to be playing his life a little bit. Yeah, almost halfway towards that first score streak. He's still got to play up on middle map. It looks like that's the play call. Mox on there too. He has some support next to him. They need to get this trade. He finds it. Now Mox is the most important player on the team. Four kills in a row. Keep an eye on his project. Progress to the glide bomb. He's going to support his bomb planter as well on the site. Mox closing it out this round. Elevate just came to play in this matchup. JCat was left in 1v3. He hasn't found his first kill in this map just yet. Elevate just taking control over this entire series. Fox, was you was you uh, expecting this one? Not in the slightest. I mean, I, I know Elevate was undefeated in Search and Destroy. They were 3-0 in groups. Um, but still, just against such a, a well-polished, recently, very recently, well-polished Luminosity gaming roster coming into champs. Um, I, I didn't didn't see it being this easy so far for Elevate. All right, John's gonna have Sniper in hand this round again. He's gonna try to find his angle, Major Maniac. 
He knows how, how much of an impact Major Maniac has been making, so he's going to try to challenge him. Oh, he's going to see that foot. So he knows the player is going to be in that corner. So I think he's just going to end up holding his angle and wait for him to cross. But he's going to get that intel on Proto. You're going to see the bomb is going to be in the hands of J-Cap. He's going to finally find Pro uh, Spacely, actually. He's going to take down Spacely. So Luminosity, I believe for the first time, they're going to have a man advantage. A two up. Oh, never mind. As I said, Major Maniac finds John. In the, uh, on the back lines with that snipe out. And that bomb's gonna be down as well. 2v2 situation, it did not get planted. It's gonna be in the hands of Formal. Major Maniac trying to creep on that bomb site. Formal's gonna try to play it safe. It's gonna be a player to his right. He did not see Mox. So now 2v1, Slack in a difficult position. He's gonna fall, elevate goes up four to zero. So we saw right there, there was the first blood that came out of Luminosity Gaming. This is the second time now that Major Maniac has immediately responded to the sniper of Luminosity Gaming. It seems like they haven't been allowed to play to their strengths of these indivi of the individual strengths of these players on Luminosity Gaming, right? Yeah. Formal, excellent sniper, John as well, but they're just not finding a whole lot of openings. And when they do, there's not a lot of follow-up. Not a lot of follow-up at all. And uh, you, you see Elevate on your screen with the commanding 4-0 lead. We'll see if they can get to match point. That's, that'd just be a lot of pressure on Luminosity, and we haven't seen much of them so, so far. They got to handle Mox. He's about to become a real problem if he isn't already. 6-0, and oh, nearly fully streaked out. Major Maniac as well, halfway through, he's just been collecting sniper rifle skulls. <laughs> he really has been. Uh, just collecting the skulls of the Luminosity players. And so he's going to be patient on this one, and, and rightfully so. Elevate is going to just be patient and see if he can, uh, you know, maybe find an angle. They're going to start taking control over this one. And as soon as this bomb goes down, I, I, you know, you hear the glide. They, so they used the glide bomb as they were planning just so they can clear out the bomb site so Proto can get a clean plant. And now you're going to see Mox rotate on over as well. Also with Major Maniac, Spacely is going to be in that top control room. 34 seconds left. The bomb defuse is going to start as well, but he's going to have to stop it. Proto causing some issues, but he is going to fall. Major Maniac's going to go down as well. Mox taking some damage. Currently a 3v1 situation. We'll see if Spacely can clutch it up. Steel does not have a kill yet, and he cannot. Luminosity is going to get their first round on the board. And they're going to get that defuse on over towards Slack. So you saw right there, J-Cap gave it up to Slack. Um, I think that it was a very smart call for J-Cap to just hop right on that bomb because of how far away Elevate would play, and they could definitely stick that with how many LG players are on that site. Before all of this, though, what even enabled the plant was the glide bomb call from Elevate to force LG indoors, get them out of position, fluster them, and as soon as you flood that site, you got, you got a couple seconds to break home free. Exactly, and that, you know, Luminosity chose the right time to get that round on the board. We'll see. Uh, also, I don't believe that, uh, I think, the, I don't know if, yeah, Mox didn't get any other streaks besides that got, that glide bomb, I believe, so he should be streakless. But John Slack is going to get first blood in this round. Prototype is going to even the odds. John's going to find another one. He's going to find a second as well. 3v1 situation all up to Mox. Left alone, and his bomb's going to get planted. Yeah, so right there, we saw another first blood from Luminosity get responded to immediately, but Follow-up was great. Due to the communication, John was able to snap for the double kill. And we'll see how Mox wants to play. We'll see if any, I don't think any players are going to hear that one. Not in a close enough range, but Mox looking to just try to push on over through this eight bomb site. Hasn't seen anybody all around yet. He should be able to lock eyes on J-Cap. J-Cap's going to find him. He's going to give out the intel as well. And John's already in position to clean up that kill. Luminosity to get this second on the board. We're six rounds into the search and destroy. Luminosity only has two first bloods. In the one round that they got the first blood, they lost it. If you're elevated, you want to make an adjustment. Now is the time. You know, you don't want Luminosity uh, to get back that momentum and bring it within one round to tie it up. Because every round they, they win, they're going to get a little bit more comfortable as well, Fox. And Major Maniac, he was the, one of the big impacts early on, especially through the first bloods. But you're going to see he's actually going to put away the sniper this time. So he's actually going to get in the mix. So that's going to be the adjustment in which Elevate's going to make. Spacely, is he going to get the timing? Yes, he will. He gets first blood. He gets the second as well. 4v2 situation. They know where the last two are. He's going to get oh, the man. third. This should not happen. Can he get the ace in this round? All going to be on the shoulders of J-Cap, currently one and four. Spacey just gunned all three of them by, while taking basically no damage at all. He's going to get a proto. proto. 
He's going to get Major Maniac as well. Turn this into a 1v2. Plenty of time on the clock. Does he get Spacey off this header? He's going to get hit with that bomb. J-Cap escapes. Oh and Spacely is going to end up taking him out. Spacely with the ace. That's going to be elevate at match point. And at, at first, I actually thought, shots. you know, I actually I thought J-Cap was going to end up getting him the way he was beaming. And there you go, Elevate just one round to going up 2-0 against Luminosity. I know a lot of people wasn't expecting that one, but it just shows that Elevate is here to play. And Spacely, you see him on your screen, he's playing phenomenal in this one, Fox. Spacely with the chain on his neck, has to feel like a gem right now. Awesome ace to bring Elevate to game point. LG has been and looking nice real chain. slow throughout this S&D. All right, John's going to bring his snipe low on the B side. Oh, Major Maniac has been waiting for him every single time. He almost had a double lined up, uh, but just couldn't get it. So John's going to be down. Man advantage to elevate. They just need to play their trades. They need to play smart. It's Luminosity who's on the offensive side and who has to plant this bomb. Mox is going to be watching. Slack is going to get in that control, and he's actually going to find Proto. That's a good aggressive push there by Luminosity. Mox is going to get the call out as well, but the flank from Spacely, and he's the one who's been staying aggressive, and Mox stays in the mix, but Formal finds a double to turn this into a 1v1. Formal versus Major Maniac. We'll see who can come out on top. Currently, Formal on the two streak. And that's just a little spectator glitch, but both players still there. You see Major Maniac moving towards that bomb site. The bomb hasn't been picked up just yet, but you, we're going to look at the mini-map, and you're going to see that it's down. Take a look at those arrows, number four and number six. Number four is going to be Major Maniac. He's going to be positioned bottom map, but the flank coming in from Formal, he's not going to be able to see him. So I'm going to assume that Major, Major Maniac is going to be in a top control room. The bomb needs to get picked up. It needs to get planted. Formal is looking for it. He does not have Now he's going to have it in hand. He needs to plant. Six seconds on the clock, and he gets the kill to win the engagement. If he would have played his life and just waited for that plant, he it would have been Elevate winning that map. Wow. And up, up before that point, that put Formal in that situation where he needed to find a double kill and then hunt down Major Maniac. We saw Luminosity sp sent both Slack and J-Cap into that top window, knowing that Major Maniac was in position. Mox was back there with both long-range rifles. They weren't going to do a whole lot. The space was flanking. All right. We're going to be following the players on for this round. Apologize about that, but you know, things happen. But we still got plenty of action left in this one. We'll see who can get the first blood. Proto's gonna back up, he has bomb in hand. Spacey's gonna see if he can tag anybody with that nade. So he does tag someone, so he's gonna get the intel as well. Let his teammates know, let Proto know to watch his back that there's gonna be players coming. Spacey's not gonna force that one just yet. He's just gonna be patient. He's gonna be able to lock eyes on Formal, so he's gonna have to reposition himself. <laughs> See, they stopped sending people up there at Spacely after ever since he got that ace. I mean, even before then, he's been able to hold that, that angle pretty well. Major maniac, man. Surprise, surprise. Another first blood. Just collect those. I'm a fan. Three, three first bloods from Major Maniac. Spacely, he's been a, he's been an aggressor, just been forcing plays for his team after getting those two hit markers. He was debating on going down low to get that kill, and he does get the one on J-Cap. So, it's Elevate, who's on the offensive round. They need to see if they can get Formal, but Formal keeps clutching it up. Another double to even the odds. That's a 4v2 situation in which Elevate needs to kind of close out that round. The bomb's planted. Now 4v1, can Formal do it again? Let's actually switch on board with him, because he's been clutch all game long. Trying to get Proto, but he's going to have to just reposition himself. He's going to be full red, getting towards his bomb. Major Maniac. He's going to lose the sight line. Formal knows he's there. He's going to aim, aim that heady. Get in some hit markers, and he gets it. Okay, Formal, clutch it up one more time. Proto just needs to be smart when he wants to check it. He's going to check it at seven, and yes, that will do it. Elevate will come out on top of this map. Formal tried to get the job done, but he cannot. Based off of time, he could not defuse that bomb. It takes 7.5 seconds. It was about six on the clock by the time he got that last kill. And you know, it, it's a real shame that towards the middle to late stages of that game, we really saw Formal get active. He was the one keeping Luminosity Gaming in that S&D and trying to Playing dig like them a champ. out of that horrible hole that they dug themselves in, right? Elevate just had their number. I mean, those first bloods, Major Maniac said B was closed. Yeah, he, he really did. And that was, uh, you know, formal defending champion, uh, defending in that performance. And uh, you know what? But this series is 2-0 up in Elevate's favor. Folks, don't go anywhere. When we come back, we'll see if Luminosity can make the comeback.
welcome back to the College of the World League Championships. We have Elevate versus Luminosity. Elevate currently up two to zero in this one. Something that we did not expect. And now we'll see if they can close out on this next CTF. Or will Luminosity be fighting to make that reverse sweep? You see, it normally I'd give Luminosity Gaming the edge. I, I still will. Got to remain consistent. Yeah. Uh, it seems like Luminosity Gaming is the one not remaining consistent, though. That hard point should have been theirs. One of their better maps. At the very least, foremost, better map individually. John usually runs London Docks no matter the game mode. Still, you got to keep in mind, this is J-Capture the flag, all right? <laughs> J-Cap. Jordan Kaplan is the CTF mastermind in the Pro League of, Call of, Duty, of the Call of Duty World League. So you have to keep in mind, Luminosity Gaming's history with this game mode, they should have the upper hand. You could have said the same thing about on the Docs Hardpoint, though, so this is going to be a real interesting one. Maybe Elevate can ride that wave and hit him with a 3-0. Yeah, but we'll see what the Major has to say about that one, Fox. Yeah. Because Major Maniac has been playing out of his mind. Mox has been so consistent. But most importantly, the guy who's been so aggressive and uh, just making all the plays has been spacely on this one. You see his hard point KD 1.08, search and destroy KD 1.27, CTF KD 1.0. He's your main sub for this team, and uh, you can tell why. He's just beginning in the faces of his opponents and just taking them out every single time. And I have a feeling that Spacely is the mind behind this Elevate team. He's someone that's always so vocal no matter what roster he's on. Interestingly enough, when he teamed alongside Mox on Ghost Gaming, his current teammate, of course, these guys went back and forth a lot as the end game leader. So that is true. It, it's just really, it was really interesting at the time to see him give that up to someone else. But now I know that he's got a very vocal part of how this Elevate roster uh, plays out. Now he, he he definitely does. You know, uh, Spacely, you know, I know how much he wants this one. You know, we actually go to the same barber shop, you know, so you know barbershop <laughs> talk. You talk about everything. And Spacely <laughs> really wants to come out here and win this kind of champs and he's playing just like it. So we'll see if he can get the job done. But this luminosity roster, you got J Cab looking for his third ring. You you got Formal looking to go back to back. You got John, you got Slack, uh, my fault, you got John, you got Slack as well. And uh, they are just looking to get in and get it done. But we'll see if that's going to happen. And they got a long road ahead of themselves. They found themselves in a big hole. But the question is, can they dig themselves out? Let us know who you guys want to win. We're hopping on map number three. This London Docks capture the flag. Guys, feast your eyes on this awesome display of gameplay from Team Elevate. They're playing up against a Luminosity Gaming roster of a former world champ, John. We also have JCap, the only remaining player in this tournament to have exactly two rings. They're up 2-0 in the series. Taking the Luminosity Gaming down on a map that should have been theirs. Now we're getting into CTF. They gotta, they gotta bring it back here. The reverse sweep has to begin. They definitely have to bring this one back, you guys. We're almost gonna get first blood in this one all spacely. And now you're gonna see Luminosity. They got a long road ahead of themselves. But let's throw it on over to National Gaming Listen in and see what they're gonna do about it. He's dropping back, one dropping back, it's okay, get it. Nice one's one's gonna be fire. Come up, come up, come up, come up, come up, come up. Push your docks. Push your docks. He crossed, he crossed. Watch out, watch out on you, watch out on you, we'll fire me. Docs just holding with the bar. Fire that, fire that, one is docs. Yeah. Nice. Two. Mox in part of Mox in Mox in part of Mox in Could be in the back right corner. Fire in the sky, fire in the sky, Mox. Going ladder, going ladder. He's holding fire, he's holding fire, he's holding fire. I need it. He's buying ladder, cat. He got me, he's weak in fire, he's weak in fire. I'm on crane right now. One's right here back, watch your crane. Crane, 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 Mike, that's three. Three, three. Sky fire on me. I'm pitching, I'm trying to pitch him. What, we, 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 Leave him in water. Leave him in water. Yeah, what's happening back? Oh, that's box. That's box. That's box. I got a box. Right. Oh, one could be water spawn late. Yeah, maybe, but just get in fire in water corner. What's in fire weak? Yeah, don't. I'm about to here, John. I'm about to I got the cab. I have a glide. I have a glide. You can call it. You can call it. You can call it. He got me in fire. Uh, he's uh, nah, he's nah, right now. Outside of the gate. Outside of the gate. What's that? Two fire. I'm about to push Kate to call. One weed. One weed. One weed. I'm looking for it. Yeah, here. Right here. Right here. Yeah, here. Backfire. Backfire. Watch out. Spacey. Spacey. One's on. One water needs ramp. Spacey was one shot fire. One shot ramp. One shot bottom ramp. Oh, train. Train. One shot marks. Alright, he's pulling. Uh, I do. Can you always try to call? No. Alright, I'm gonna back. I have flag guy. Call ramp back to the top mid, right front beer. I'm on ramp. I don't see anything ramp. He's green ramp, green ramp. I'm bottom, bottom, bottom. He's one shot absolute. He's going bottom ramp, bottom ramp absolute. I'm laying down, dead. I'm shot again. He's absolute now. Hold, hold, hold. Green elbow, just holding. 
I can call my whole Blaze Assault right there to kick things off. JCAP, the CTF mastermind, started off this game deathless 5 0. Oh. However, John, up until a few seconds ago, having struggles of his own, 0 and 5 and elevate. Puts their first flag cap in. The score streaks come into play. Double kill from the glide bomb. Luminosity Gaming. Great start, but elevate answered right back. Now, I, you know, so I do believe that the loser of this series will end up playing. Uh, the loser of the Rise Nation versus TK. You know, on that one, TK went up 1 0. And uh, they went up 1 0, even though TK dropped 58 kills in match number one, which is just insane. So the loser of this is going to have a difficult matchup ahead of themselves. That's just a stupid number. I mean, think about it. So many players on Hardpoint average 50 interactions, kills and deaths. He surpassed that with his kills alone. And so you're going to see Slack actually push in and get some help to Formal. And he's actually going to find that kill on Major Maniac, and that was huge. He's going to dodge those shots from Mox. And they're going to actually get this flag back to the house. And Mox was just a few bullets off from getting the, uh, the kill that was needed to stop that flag that was going in. Just the communication there from Elevate just, you know, it just seems like it was not there on that, on that pool because Luminosity just walked straight through fire, through fire and pulled that one out. It looks like they want to pull out another one unless Mox can kind of hold him off. He's going to kill one player, not get the second, but he got enough shots on him for Proto to kind of hit that wall bang and kill him through the wall. But Formal pushes up, trying to give some help, but he's going to be able to take him. Uh, he falls. Ooh. There you go. Proto picking up two kills. Formal field of Proto. Proto able to get J-Cap as well. That's going to be a double. That's going to be a good return. Luminosity, when they struck first, Elevate responded with the counter cap. We'll see if they can do it again. Proto is close to these streaks. He may want to play his life, but he's confident that he can get this kill. He's going to have some help as well. Trying to turn the corner, and John's going to chase him down. Mox not in that position to cover him, but John's going to end up taking him out as well. John's going to get three, and John's going to have the right to push forward and start putting some pressure on the spawn of Elevate. So now... Luminosity Gaming on the offensive. Major Maniac, though, who was a real key in search and destroy. Starting off a little slow in this CTF. However, a big defensive play right there. Turned this entire thing on its head. Jacob decides not to just slip by. He actually goes for the kill, alerting Elevate to his presence. Now, you're going to see Jacob with the wide flank. He's going to be able to take down Mox, but not before, not before Mox kills him. And John, he's going to be patient, waiting for the rest of his teammates to move up towards mid-map. 28 seconds left in this first half. Proto is going to get that flank on him, but he's going to get shot in his back by Slack. Major Maniac's going to end up taking down Formal. And now, with two members down, Elevate will see if they can get a touch. It's going to be difficult. J-Cap on defense with John coming off respawn. And J-Cap's going to find a kill. Space is going to give up his position. He's going to be able to take down J-Cap, but John's going to be there for the cleanup. I don't think we'll be able, anybody will be able to get a touch with four seconds left. Mox is in the position. He's not going to do it, though. And that's going to be the first round out with LG up 2-1. to one. So Luminosity's got to feel a little comfortable coming into the second half. Elevate, definitely starting on their backs. I mean, we saw yeah. Spacely 5-10 and 10 up until that last push, and I think it was Major Maniac had an incredibly low number of engagements as well while still going double negative. Just... LG just trying to build up that confidence. They got, like I said, they got a long road ahead of themselves, and they know it. And it's gonna have to come back. It's gonna have to start now uh, because of not they're losing. But you take a look at that kill feed. Uh, you, well, the scoreboard. You can see J Cap sitting at 13 and eight, and on the other side of Elevate, you got Mox sitting at 14 and eight now as well, getting the job done for his team. And that's gonna be two kills in a row for Elevate. We'll see what type of map control they can get from that one. Looking like they're just going to have the right to push straight through fire. They're going to win that engagement on Slack towards the dock side. So they can pull the flag this way and get away as well. So that flag will be in the hands of Major Maniac. He's going to take a different route. He's trying to be cautious, but he needs to just go. He has all the cover in the world. He just needs the confidence, and he knows it now. He's like, all right, I can get back to base with this one. He wasn't sure. He was checking all his corners, and rightfully so. But, folks, Elevate ties this one up 2-2. Two he, two. he puts it in. He's real close to those score streaks. You want to see Major Maniac stay alive. Looks like a little bit of base defense coming in from Elevate because they know LG is swarming. j has gotten behind well. them, shutting him down. Huge stop onto Major Maniac right there. Otherwise, he could have blown this game wide open. He really could have spaced This is a big flank. Informal, he gets that kill. It's going to be up to number eight, Major Maniac again, to get the job done. Formal is going to lose another gunfight to him, but Slack is going to be there. And LG responds with another flag cap, and they put in flag number three.
It was almost a rally too. JCAP was still in base. He was able to find the kill onto Mox. However, Proto was there to stop it in its tracks. Slack alive in the enemy base as well. He's going to have some support of John coming up on sub. Actually, he just has to go through middle. So these guys have to rush out and stop Maniac. They do just that. And this is another flag pull for Luminosity. Unless Proto has something to say. He's going to put himself in a cheeky position. He gets that kill and he gets the return as well. Formal knows he needs to be looking that direction, but Mox is going to spawn up and take care of him as well. Not going to get a hit marker with that one, so JCAP is going to might get the upper hand on him. Yes, he will. JCAP pushes out, takes down Proto, but Major, G Ma Major Maniac is going to stay aggressive in this one. We're about to have be under three minutes left in this one, folks, and that's going to be another double kill by Elevate. They are going to have some map control. They're going to have a player towards the dock side looking to get this pinch in as well. It's going to be number seven, Spacely. We'll see how sneaky he wants to be. And on the other side, it's going to be John looking to get into the base of Elevate. Spacely gets the kill that he needs, too. He got two players in the base. John gets one. He's gonna have, that's a big kill on Mox, and John knows that he needs to go back and fight this one, but Mox is going to win an engagement. And down low, it's Spacely again, still causing the problems in the base. He wins another gunfight as well. That flag is still there. Question is, can he take down J-Cap? Spacely sees him, needs one more bullet, and he does get him. But John off the respawn. Spacely is just going to barely dodge that nade. John's not going to get a single hit on him. Proto is there for the blocking as well. Nobody's going to be in a position to get Elevate down, so they're going to tie it up 3-3. Three to three. Spacely tying it up for Elevate at 3-3. Three, three. He's got to feel great. I mean, he came up with the player on the opposite side of the stage, Slack. These guys, these guys started their careers together, making the most money together. This is a real intense matchup. I want to hear what's going on in those Elevate comms right now. Spacely on a three streak. Let's give a listen. I threw it in the, I threw it under the beer. One shot, one shot OE. You got him low. You have him low. Thin, thin, thin. Nice. Uh, Cole, Cole. Uh, I have Cole. Slack. It's at your water steps. They're water steps. They're water steps. They're water steps. 100%. Yeah, pick this up. Mike, I'll spawn. One fire ladder. One fire ladder. One fire ladder. I'm getting it up, Cole. I pulled Yo, it in, OE. Yeah, he's in beer. One, one on OE. John, John, John. John OE. Picking up OE. Come on, get it. Right, stay up, stay up. Hold the fire. He's in the front. I'm holding Cole. I'm holding Cole. I'm going to Scott Fire. I'm going to Scott Fire. Behind you, two. Fire. Behind you, fire. Fire ladder. 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 Uh, one's green, green, water, right. long box, and backfire. Back 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 long box, long box. Backfire, backfire. Fire, fire, fire. Pull, 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 I'm going, I'm going quick. Hold him back, fire. All right, I'm going crane. Back fire. Nice, I'm going crane. Back fire, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. back fire. They're both went crane side, both went crane side. Yeah, I'm going to crane side. Nice! Not the fucking go, chill. I got this cap. I got this cap just now. Push it up. All right, push it up. 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 Push it I'm going on, I'm going on. Man, as you can hear, the comms on the side of Elevate. Just great communication from these guys. You're going to see another flag gets pulled as well, but Slack in the spawn. He needs to win the gunfight against Major Maniac. And Major Maniac is going to play his life, wait for reinforcements. And that's going to be the flag carry pushing in. He's going to get the return. He's going to get the kill and the cap. Just 75 points away from more streaks. And now 38 seconds up on the clock. LG has to go big, Fox. Again, if you're just tuning in, Elevate winning this map will knock Luminosity Gaming down to the loser's bracket. We've seen an awesome performance from this set of four players coming out of that LCQ. Spacely leading the charge throughout this series has been a such a highly impactful player. Take a look at the rally. Another cap goes in. Elevate sinks their teeth, and they're sending Luminosity Gaming down. Just 10 seconds left in this one and Team Elevate comes out and shows that they have what it takes to come out and make those big upsets. And that's going to be a 3-0 to zero victory for Team Elevate, and they will progress on through. Wow. That's a good one. You just see all the smiles on their faces as well. Just coming in, sticking to their guns, and just getting that 3-0 hot. And I mean, it was just Luminosity Gaming were so hot out the gates, right? They were so hot out the gates. J-Cap started off awesome, 5-0, giving them that cap with John. Being so 